now let's examine a couple other curses that are re relative to our people. Go to verse 65. No, 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 go to verse 64 first. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 64. This is where, this is prophesying now about us turning to other gods, our people turning to other gods. Come on. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people from the one end of the earth even unto the other. So we've been scattered. How did we get scattered? Through the transatlantic slave trade. Come on. They had also the sub-Saharian slave trade which preceded the slave, the uh, trans uh, transatlantic slave trade. That was when the, um, we were under slavery under the, um, the Arabs. The Arabs were, were um, had us in slavery. Okay, come on. That, and that's very, this very, um, the Bible even prophesies about that as well. But right now we're talking about these curses in Deuteronomy 28. Come on. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people from the one end of the earth even unto the other. Mm -hmm. And there thou shalt serve other gods. This is the key. You want to know how, why we are in Christianity? Why we are in these different religions? It says that's a curse that will be on us. We will serve other <clears throat> gods. Okay? Come on. Which neither thou nor thy fathers have known, uh -huh. even wood and stone. So wood is talking about the crucifix, the, the, the cross, meaning that is a, that, that's uh, Christianity. The stone is talking about the Kaaba stone, which is uh, the Muslim faith. You know what I'm saying? And so that's one, that is one the reason why a lot of our people rent, go, uh, go to uh, the uh, Islam or the Muslim faith is because it, it has a semblance of unity and bl um, black, you know, bl uh, blackness or whatever. But make no mistake, that is not the, 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 uh, the religion, that's not the religion that we are supposed to be. Matter of fact, that was the Arab religion. That's the, Ar that's the Arabic religion. That's not, that religion is not for us. You know what I'm saying? So, all of the, if you if you follow any religion other than the law, statutes, and commandments, it's called idolatry. At the end of the day, all right. Come on, verse sixty-five. And among these nations shalt thou find no ease. Now here's a prophecy that we experience every day. It says, among the nations that we've been scattered, we will uh, we will what? Ye shall find no ease. We will find no comfort. No, we, we can't, we'll we be uneasy no matter where we are. So you go, no matter where we are, we, our, our life is always in doubt. We always got, we always, you got, you get pulled over by a cop, you don't know if you're coming home that night. You don't know. You don't, you, not, like I said before, now our people are getting killed in, in, the, uh, in their house. And also, we, we got to worry about our own people killing each other. We kill, we kill each other day in and day out. These are all part of the curses. Come on. Neither shall the sole of thy foot have rest, uh -huh. but the Lord shall give thee there a trembling heart uh -huh. and failing of eyes and sorrow of mind. Uh -huh. Verse 66. And thy life shall hang in doubt before thee. The li your life will hang in doubt before you. No matter, if, as, long as, you, when, as long as you're not, when you're not keeping the commandments, your life, make it no mistake, your life is in doubt. At any time, the Most High can say, "It's time." The, 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 my, this, uh, this, my daughter, my sister, or my daughter, my my son, he's not listening, he's not hearkening to, to be turned back to my law, statutes, commandments. So I'm gonna pull this card now. It's time for him to be put to death. Okay, let's read that part again. Verse 66. And thy life shall hang in doubt before thee. How does our life also hang in doubt when we are even even in our own neighborhoods? This is all a part of curses. We, you, like I said, black on black crime all the time. You got you got Hispanics hating hate. You got you got the so-called Hispanics, which are a, which is the nation of Ephraim. They hate blacks, which is the nation of Judah. You got you got you got you got uh, Puerto, you got so-called Puerto Ricans that hate Dominicans. You got Haitians that hate Dominicans. You know you got all these different, and we're all we are all the same people. And what I mean is we are all of this nation of Israel. Come on. And thy life shall hang in doubt before thee, and thou shalt fear day and night, and shall have none assurance of thy life. So you have no assurance of your life. Every day you are, your life is in peril. You know what I'm saying? Whether it be to the other nations or whether it be to one another. And this is the reason why. Because we don't realize that God, give us, give us, uh, show them in Deuteronomy 76 what God said, said about us. The Most High God said that we are the chosen people of God. But the reason why we don't believe it is because, one, we've been indoctrinated to believe, first of all, that 
we are black or we're his we, we've been our, our identity has been destroyed then we've been indoctrinated with these religions that pushes this the image of the beast which is that white Jesus but we're gonna show even in the Bible that the Bible it's funny how we got in all these churches different images of, of Christ right but I they're all white <laughs> they're all white but you ask somebody to, to prove in the Bible, which they don't read, that Christ is white, they can't do it. Because Christ is described as a dark-skinned black man. And why is that important? If we knew and we really believed and accepted and embraced the fact that Christ looked like us, we would maybe we would not have that same hatred towards one another. But the most high God, but the our oppressors created religion to keep us divided, keep us from ever unifying under one nation of people. But this is what God called, said about the Israelites in the Bible. Come on. Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 6. Uh -huh. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. Uh -huh. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself, uh -huh. above all people that are upon the face of the earth. So he said above all people. When it says above all people, it's talking about above all nations. Notice how he said, it didn't say above all religions. Notice that. You notice that they say above all Baptists, above all Catholics, above all Lutherans, above all Methodists, because those are man-made religions that have been created to divide and destroy who we are as a people. Most High said we are chosen people unto Himself. Okay, so go to um, go to. Does anybody got any questions before I continue on? Anybody? Any rebuttals of any kind? <laughs> no questions. All right. So let's uh, go go to Isaiah one and three. Show show them further. Let's just continue to illustrate that we don't know who we are. Okay. Uh, makes uh, throughout throughout the history of the Bible, the Israelites have been under multi different captivities. There's only really in the Bible one period of time that the Israelites were the ruling nation on the on the face of the earth. And that was during the time of when King David and King Solomon, King, well, sorry, with King Saul, even though the, the kingdom was ripped from him because he was disobedient to what um, God told him to do. But King, King Saul ruled for about 40 years. King David ruled for about 40 years. King Solomon, about 40 years. So about 120 years of uh, we were in full rulership in the ruling nation in the, in the Bible. Socks, so, the book of Isaiah, chapter 1 and verse 3. Uh -huh. The ox knoweth his owner, mm -hmm. and the ass his master's crib. Now, this is the thing. The ox is a dumb animal, as we know. The, the, the uh, what? The ox knows his owner, what? And the ass his master's crib. The ass is, uh, is a donkey, so we know that a donkey is not very smart either. But it says, an ox knoweth his owner, a and an ass knows his master's crib, meaning he knows where he lives. Go ahead. But Israel does not know. My people does not consider. We don't even consider that we are the chosen people of God. We don't even consider that we are above all nations upon the face of the earth. Why? Because when we look around us, we don't see any demonstration of that. Okay? But make no mistake, the prophecy in this Bible is that the Most High God will wake up the Israelites in the last days and we will come to know who we are and return back to the law, statutes, and commandments of the Most High. And that is happening right now. Like I said, we have a school here and we have schools and churches all throughout the world, not just the nation, the world. And that is, in key. so it says, the ox know this owner and his ass his master's crib, but Israel does not know, he doesn't even consider. What does he consider? That he is, that he is an Israelite, that he is chosen by God. And that this is the reason why, Deuteronomy 32 and uh, 26. This is the reason why we don't consider it. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 32 and verse 26. Uh -huh. I said, I would scatter them into corners. How again did we get scattered? When we got put in slavery. When, uh, when, when transatlantic slave trade scattered us throughout the world. Come on. I would make the remembrance of them to cease from among men. See? The remembrance of the fact that we're the Israelites, 
has ceased from among men. So now, when it comes up, it's foreign. It's for, it's, it's to some degree, our people are like are starting to catch on, understanding that we are the people of this book. But for the most part, we are still mired in and in, in gravitate to religion rather than this Bible. Let me. I'm gonna show you an example of how we know that the. The churches do not follow the Bible. Give me Deut uh, Exodus 28. This is one example of how we know that all churches do not follow the Bible. Okay? Come on. Exodus chapter 20 and verse 8. Uh -huh. mind, and mind you, everything that I say out of my mouth, because the scriptures say in 1 Peter uh, what, 4 and 11, if any man speak, let him speak as the oracles of God. So anything that I say is backed up in scripture. In so any question that that, that that comes up in your mind based on what I'm saying, I'm gonna I'm gonna answer it with the scriptures. I'm gonna go, thus says the Lord, and I'm gonna show you in the scriptures how we can how we can say, make proclamations and statements that we're making. This teaching that I'm doing right now is based and rooted in the scriptures, not out of my own mind. Okay? Come on. Exodus chapter 20 and verse 8. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. This is the one way that we know that the churches do not follow the Bible. It said what? Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Come on. Six days shalt thou labor and do all thy work. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. The seventh day. When is the seventh day of the week? When is the seventh day? Does anybody know when the seventh day is? Saturday. No, Saturday. 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 So, get this now. I'm gonna I'm gonna give y'all a little quick history, right? In 325 A.D., there is a called the Council of Nicaea. The Council of Nicaea under Emperor Constantine. They changed the Sabbath day at that time from Saturday to Sunday. That's a historical fact, and they did that because. They know that the chosen people of the Most High God, of, of God, are the Israelites, and it's to keep us breaking the Sabbath day. So let's let's examine what the Sabbath day. Now read that again. It's a, that this, that remember, remember the point that I'm making here. This is how you know that the churches of today do not follow the Bible. Because, That's the question, though. I'm gonna be you though. Not now. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna deal with your question in a minute. Um. But this is how we know. This is how we know. Be because at the, at the end of the day, we are not following, we're not following that scripture. Remember, he the most high God gave Moses not just the Ten Commandments, but also laws and statutes to follow. So under I'm gonna give you an example. That there's the Ten Commandments, right? But then there are laws. An example of a law is um, the, the, the law against fornication. We're not to be. We should. We should not have sex outside of marriage, right? right. Now get this. Does the there's no Ten Commandments that says thou should not fornicate. But what does fornication fall under? What what umbrella? What what? Because uh, remember, the Ten Commandments is an umbrella, and the laws are underneath those Ten Commandments. So if you are a fornicator, you are you are breaking the commandment called. Thou shalt not commit adultery. So, fornication falls under the commandment, thou shalt not commit adultery. All right? If you, if you um, have hatred for your brother, this Bible calls you a murderer. Okay? So, get this. So, if you have hatred for your brother, and if it says you are a murderer, you are breaking the actual commandment, thou shalt not kill. Because it doesn't say, the Ten Commandments doesn't say, thou shalt not hate your brother. But the laws that fall under the Ten Commandments do say, thou shalt not hate your brother in your heart. Okay? So, give me that again. Exodus chapter 20 and verse 8. Read, read, just read through it real quick. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Uh -huh. Six days shalt thou labor and do all thy work. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. In it thou shalt not do any work. Thou, nor thy son, nor thy daughter, thy manservant, nor thy maidservant, nor thy cattle, nor thy stranger that is within thy gates. Mm -hmm. For in six days the Lord made heaven and earth, the sea and all that in them is, 
and rested the seventh day. Wherefore the Lord blessed the Sabbath day and hallowed it. So he made it, he, when it says a holiday, <coughs> means he, he made this day holy. Yeah. So we are literally not supposed to be, what is it? No working. That's one of the, that's one of the laws of the Sabbath day. No working. The one, uh, uh, another law of the Sabbath day is no cooking. Another law of the Sabbath day is no buying, and the other is no selling. But because, remember the scripture we said, that God said, I will cease to make the remembrance, I cease from, uh, remove the remembrance of who we are uh, from us, so that then we are going to do, we're going to do, we're going to break the Sabbath. We're going to break the Sabbath because we don't realize that the Sabbath was made for us to keep. And in and, and keeping the Sabbath day, that means no buying, no selling, no working, and no cooking. Alright? But this is the thing. On the Sunday, we uh, the, the churches meet on Sunday, so that means they are directly breaking this, this commandment right here. They're breaking the law of the Sabbath. Because our, our churches should really be meeting on, on Saturday, on, on the Sabbath. And the Sabbath goes from That's evening to evening. A day is from evening to evening. Okay? So come on. Read, um, go to, uh, uh, any, oh, that brother, he, he, he went outside, question. he had a question, he went outside. Probably better. Alright, he's good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Anybody else, if they got questions, concerns? Well, a lot of people say that the, the New Testament huh? changes that law. What's your opinion on, or factual, facts on that? Okay, that's a good question. So, the only thing... That the New Testament. So, so let me let me answer it this way. First of all, that's something that's taught in the churches that the laws were done away with, right? But that's um, in the New Testament itself. It, it demonstrates that it, they, um, it, it tells us that he did, the laws are not done away with. The only law, the only laws that were done away with. This, I'm just gonna answer it uh, overviewish, and then I'm gonna give you some scripture. Is the law of sacrifice. Why, how the law of sacrifice is the only laws that were done away with in the Bible uh, from the from the New Old Testament law um, and that what is that sacrifice that was when Christ died on the cross all right so he did away with the law because prior to him dying on the cross how did we atone for our sin we had to get a goat or a lamb or a, uh, a ram and sacrifice an animal to atone for our sin Okay, but when Christ died on the cross, he that's why he said on the cross when he well, right before he died, he said it is finished. He was saying, Now no more do you have to sacrifice an animal to atone for your sin. Now you can come to me and ask for forgiveness for your sin. All right, so Christ is the he's the covering of our sin through our, when we repent and ask for forgiveness. We don't have to sacrifice an animal anymore. Okay, but get this even during the Mosaic law. If you broke the Sabbath day, there was no atonement for your sin. You could not use an animal to, to atone for your sin. You were put to death. You were put to death. If you, if you committed adultery during the Mosaic time, you were put to death. There was no atoning for your sin. Okay? But there's other sins that you could atone for your sin by sacrificing a, 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 a lamb. So that, a, a ram or a goat or whatever. But, so, so to answer your question overviewish wise um, the laws of God are not done away with and I'm gonna show I'm gonna, man has just changed it. man has changed it so now I'm gonna, I'm gonna, now I'm gonna prove it but first well, I'm gonna, I'll go back to that you can let him yeah 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 that's, that's I'll, come, I'll talk to you later. yeah 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 I'm, I'm gonna address that I'm, I'm, I'm gonna give you more though so you, you know so yeah, I can expand on it my brother me yeah yeah how you doing sir my oh, man this is me this is me I know you anyway so, I know that you're my guy come on so Who's original black man? Who's the original black man? Yeah. Adam. Adam. Yeah. Really? Matter of fact, let, let, I'm gonna ask, no, no, let me ask you this. That, that, that's a good question. No, I'm asking you a question. Okay. Like what you ask me, you ain't answer it. Though. Okay, I'm, but I, I did answer it. The original black man was the, uh, the first man, man that was created. That was the original black man. Who is, what's his name? Say again? What is, why are you asking this question? Because we're trying to be productive in here. We're trying to get well, something. I, I'm, I'm being productive. Okay, well, go ahead. Well, I asked you the question. I didn't ask you to keep the question. I asked you. I asked you the question. I just asked you. Adam. Adam was the original man. He's a, yeah. So, right now, so, 
I want you to close the Bible right now. Your book, no, I'm not a reference to so, not just close it. It has to be something like spontaneously, though, because you have everything reference. You have everything highlighted. So, go, everything is highlighted. I'm not no atheist. I'm not, I'm just, I'm no, just, no, but what's your, what do you mean everything is highlighted? What do you mean? Anything you ask a question is, oh, is all in yellow ink. So, and? Mm -hmm. We study that. Okay. We, the study. Bible says study is so, show you yourself study. approved. That makes sure we know it. You're supposed Open to. Open the book and know it. Hey, hey, check it out. I'm going to book and know it. Hey, hey, hey hold on, hold on. Hey, I'm to that point. If you go to the school, right, and you got a professor, right? If he don't know, Everything if, I read, if, if he, I can know, I can open up he, and read he's it. supposed to know. He's supposed to be able to teach you what he know, right? Open up and read it. You should have to have everything highlighted. Does does a, does a professor open up a book and read it, or does he teach well, you what he knows? I don't know. He ain't, he ain't never told me no book. He's my professor. Check it out. He's a he's a barber. Is he sitting there with a book showing? We out how books. It's like knowledge. knowledge. Okay, so know. so exactly. This is knowledge which I have attained from studying the Bible. Everything is highlighted. What difference does it make? Close the book, highlighted? open it up, and read. Open it up, close it, and open it up. read something that's not highlighted right now. What, what, anything is like in yellow ink. Well, what do they have on, to man. do? What does that have to do with it? Because it does. That means everything is like. Well, I'm I asked you the question. No, we're not asking. We're asking you a question. What yeah. do you mean? What's your point? Yeah, yeah. I, I, I don't say anything you study. I say anything that's in your head. Okay. Now do some spot Isaiah 3416. Right. All right. Give, give that. Do some spot. If you know it, you know it. It should have to be highlighted. Listen you know to this. Know it. Uh, check it out. Check it out. Right? I got something for you. Too. Listen to this. Right, Keith? Read you don't know what was right here? Huh? Go ahead, read. Isaiah chapter 34 and verse 16. Oh, listen, listen. Okay, yes, Seek yes, yes, ye yes. out of the book of the Lord and read. No one of these shall fail. None shall want her mate. For my mouth it hath commanded, and his spirit it hath gathered them. So, so at the end of the seat, let's read it again. Go ahead. Isaiah chapter 34 and verse 16. Uh -huh. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. Uh -huh. No one of these shall fail. Uh -huh. None shall want her mate. Hold on, hold on. So it says, seek ye out of the book and read, meaning study, like, right? And then study. it said, no, no, no. Listen, listen. No listen. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. It said, none of these will fail. What does that mean? None of the prophecies of the, of the Bible will fail. None of the teachings of the Bible will fail. All right? All right. So that's, that's what that's talking about. So, um, where were we at now? <laughs> oh, 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 so now, go, go to um, Matthew uh, 5 and 17, it is. Listen to this real quick. This is out of Christ, this is out of Jesus' own mouth. Listen to it. Because, yeah, that's what the, that, it, this, this is the funny thing too about the church, right? They say the laws are done away with, right? Alright, so that means that the Old Testament is done away with. Okay, good, good. But then why are you going to Malachi 3 about um, paying tithes then? Why are you doing that? The, law, the laws are done away with. So only the laws of giving money, you, that, that's the only one you're going to grab out of the Old Testament. But every, And get this now. I want to make sure it's clear. Tithing was always crops. Yeah, it wasn't. Tith tithing wasn't money. It was your best. And it was for what? It was for the Levitical, the Levitical priesthood. It was for the, Levi um, the, 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 the Levi um, Levitical priest whom had no land. So we the, the, the crops were brought to them. Okay? So at the end of the day, tithing was never money. So right there, the pastors are liars. Okay? But we gravitate and love these pastors, but you bring some of this up to them. Why are you teaching on tithing when tithing was never money? I was talking to one of my customers. She's, uh, she studies religious, uh -huh. religious, tithing religion. And she said that pre preachers in the United States are not for profit because they're not allowed to tell everything. That's why they do that not for profit. So they are tax exempt and all that because yeah. of you know, they go to not for profit route. So they don't teach everything they're supposed to teach. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. But you know what else? The, re the reason why they don't teach, listen, let me explain something to you. When, did we know how to read and write during time saver? No. What was the consequence of being able to read and write? Yeah. Death. Put to death. So, has anyone ever seen um, Birth of a Nation before? Yes. yes. Okay, 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 check this out, right? So, when they actually allowed certain of our people to learn how to read and write, right? They, yeah, get this, get this. They were, and then they allowed us to actually have places of church to, to guess what they did? It was censored. Because the minute you start talking about where the Israelites, you're getting put to death. You're getting put to death. 
because they did everything they could to make us a base slave when they took us off of our land and brought us over to this land. They did everything they could to indoctrinate Christianity so that we would parrot what they taught us to know and not get all grand and start really teaching them what the Bible actually says. Okay? So that is what we, that's what we got to remember. So the, the, when, I, when, when uh, people like to say, oh, 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 slavery was a long time ago. Oh, we got to get over that now. No, no, no. We're still seeing the results and the consequences of slavery right now to this very day. In fact, I would say that we are in captivity right now. We're in captivity right now, presently. Because... It's not the flesh, it's your mind. It's your mind, that, and if you don't know, uh, show that show in Hosea 4 and 6. Listen to this real quick. Listen to this. This is what the problem, our, our, our biggest problem is we don't study. We don't, we, what we do is we gravitate to what someone else taught, but we don't ever examine ourselves what this Bible is. Come on. Hosea chapter 4 and verse 6. Uh -huh. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. What? Say it again? My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. They are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. Go on. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. Okay. So, what is that going into? It says, because you rejected knowledge, meaning once you are coming to the understanding that who you are, when you reject that, God said he's going to reject you too. That's it. That's it. But we don't we don't believe the Bible. We believe man over the Bible. Come on. Hosea chapter 4 verse 6. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. Okay. So that, now, go on. That thou shalt be no priest to me. Seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy God, I will also forget thy children. See? Seeing that you have forgotten the law, I will now forget you, your children. So this is a perpetual. Remember I said this, the curses are perpetual, meaning they're continuous. They're all, they come all the way to this present day. All right? So go to, um, so, so now show, show what the priest should do uh, in Malachi. This is what the pastors should do. Now, it says because we, uh, we, our people are destroyed for lack of knowledge, the knowledge is actually supposed to be taught to us by the pastors. We're supposed to be there learning the knowledge from the pastors. But we don't learn the knowledge from the pastors, though. Because it's all for gain in money. The in the churches is a money bag. That's why uh, you got TD Jakes flying in uh, uh, fifty million dollar jets. You got uh, freaking um, uh, Creflo Dollar wow, yeah. 50, fifty million dollar jets. Okay, but his people are not experiencing that opulence and that and that and that. And that. So how is that right? Come on, come on. Malachi chapter two and verse seven. For the priest's lips should keep knowledge. So. It says that priest lips, though, just think priest meaning priest pastors. That's what it's really saying. The priest lips should keep knowledge and do what? And they should seek the law at his mouth. They should seek the law and then what? Teach the law to the flock. That's what they should do, but they're not doing it. So then this is what happened. This is what the Most High said, uh, Hosea 5 and 15. This is what the Most High God said because we don't continue. We continue to reject him, right? We continue to break the laws of God. You're going to continue to see our people getting killed in the street by each other, and you're going to continue to see it happening by the police. And you're going to then further continue to see them getting off. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark We on Paul's mission We out on the road Purple and gold From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana Sierra Leone 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling These are our men repented at heart the scriptures is proof, IUIC, we deliver the truth.